Hi oh guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, right, I am back at the the job where we had loads of faults, where I had to change the board because of numerous issues. Uh, the video I put up on that job uh, went absolutely mental, uh, to be fair to it. Um, and I've had lots of questions about it, which I've tried to answer as many as I possibly can, but there's been, well, it's just gone mad. Um, so, uh, for those of you who haven't watched it, there obviously the vi other video is, but I'll give you a brief overview of what it was. Um, there was a, so there was another board mounted here, okay? So it was mounted down there, it was an 18th edition board. Um, there was a trunk in that was run sort of like that, that ran up there. Uh, there was massive holes in the top of it. There was a stuffing gland that was sort of that big, um, and you could get your hand in it. Underneath the, um, it was just a big spaghetti mess. There was the uh, cover for the buzz bar was all smashed to bits. It wasn't fixed on either. There was just holes in it all over the place. And overall, uh, and when, oh, when we first came here, the so the tails here they were all corded and the tails that came up into it at the bottom of the meter it was all um all hanging out on the bottom of the meter which this other guy has done i mean i know the ones coming out of your main cutout fuse uh on the other board uh they're not his responsibility but as a competent electrician you would have thought that he would do what i did uh ring western power they came out within the hour and changed them over. You know, it's what you do. So also the test results that he had on the house, apparently it was perfect. This house is, you know, it's an older house. It's not a, not a new house. Homeowners never mess with anything. Uh, so I was a bit dubious on whether or not that was true. Not saying it's, you know, a possibility, but I was a bit from experience is never normally perfect circuits when it's not been rewired or anything like that it's an older house so that being said that's what happened uh, a lot of people have said why we're we not putting our cbo board on uh, because what we've then fitted now is a dual rcd board with spd um, and it comes down to costing and also getting hold of, because uh, when it's an RCBO board, I generally use fuse box. Um, I normally get them from uh, Consumer Unit World, to be honest, but we've just been struggling to get hold of them. So that was another aspect of why, because 100% truth on this, I was actually going to upgrade because they're actually customers ours. We did the bathroom on another video for them here and we were actually going to upgrade them free of charge to an RCBO board with fuse box, but we just couldn't get hold of one. So we've obviously gone for uh, a Hager, which is obviously uh, I feel is a premium brand anyway. Um, but if it's a split load board, Hager's all the way for me. So, so yeah, so that's what it is. Um, so if you've, um, if you've subscribed already, thank you very much. If you haven't, smash the link in the corner. It helps the channel out. Uh, leave your comments below as usual. Um, but So today we've got some fault finding to do. So I am actually going to show you. Everyone gives oh, I always moaning at it. And, you, and I never show you, but I actually am going to show you the fault finding. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll get myself sorted and then I'll catch up with you and we'll go through what faults there are. So fault finding wise, Right, what we've got to do, as far as we know it, as it stands right now. James has changed the down lights over because they were non-IP rated leading out into here. Uh, also, they were just running some um, uh, two core flex at like 0.75, something like that, that was run over and over. So James has just redone all those cables, pulled those through. I've got, so from here, so originally, I think this room here used to be like a coal house come downstairs loo. So this has been converted at some stage. So we've got uh, a new cable ran from the board, which is just the other side of that, to here. Uh, and we've got no continuity of earth from here. So we've got to trace all that out. So James is cracking on with those. Uh, right. 
I've just been up into the loft and so let's take the torch up because she's pretty dark. So just been up in the loft. Um, again, years and years ago, they've had some people, should we say, have come and they have wired in all the loft. So when we came here, it was a bit like, okay, what's going on? So I've got stuff like that. So cables run round and bits and bobs. I can't find everything at the minute because I've literally only just come up here and I thought, I wonder what this has run off. Oh, we've got another room. So didn't realize that. So, oh, found another socket. So that socket is, I've now discovered, is fed off the upstairs ring. Okay, not a problem. Fed off the upstairs ring. So then I've poked my head in here because this the homeowners uh, emptied this out for me. Oh, there's a broken tile there, look. Uh, I have to let him know about that one. Um, so I poked my head in here, and when he opened this up, because we had to put a vent in over down that way, see that there? So we've had to put that vent in for the bathroom. But when we took these that board off, all this down this way, so all the way down here and all the way back down the other way, it was just like that. So this is where all the rubbish went, so this like a skip to here. So obviously now I've found these sockets up here and hello, bit of one mil feeding that and that goes up and over uh, to, there's another socket I've found on the other side of there. So I'm gonna have to take that off. And then also found that lovely weapon of choice. So I've got to sort that out. And then I've just, literally this second, seen something else here. Oh. So, oh yeah, because I've got down lights in there, in the bedroom. So whoever's done the down lights has done that, which I'm assuming was the centre light, and they've just gone, yeah, that'll do, we'll make that work. We'll just, uh, we'll just smash it in like that. So. So there's those bits. So it just seems to be an ever. I turn that off. It's driving me mad. So I'm assuming that that there's some more uh, more issues. Um, I don't. Even, to be honest, I didn't realise about this this room in here. Um, so I am guessing that the all these lights are ran off it, and I dare say looking at the standard that there's not going to be a switch spur i'd be surprised if there is to downgrade the lights so looks like i've got more to do um so in reality if i can find where this comes up i'm just going to isolate it off because you're just going to open a can of worms up here with all this it's absolutely mad so that's where we're at, at the minute with that lot um uh, so I'm just going to have a little route round and see if I can find anything else, any switch spur in here. Um, and then we'll, I'll catch up with you in a second. Okay, right. I have found the supply. So I've took the fronts off, which I'm going to go and show you now. So the supply for the loft bedroom arrangement is actually, I found it here. So... Uh, yes, the patrus is broken, we'll, we'll sort that out in a minute, but let's ignore that part. This is the supply to that loft on that little beauty. So, so that's running some mini trunking that's to there and then ran up. So that's a bit of one mil. So a bit of one mil on there, <laughs> ran through. Uh, let's take you upstairs. So then I can only assume, because oh, it comes up in, so this loft light here, up there, is run off the lighting circuit, okay? So I can only assume it comes up in that corner and then fed round into this arrangement. Oh, let's come grab the torch, Let me show you a bit better. So this is what we're up against, there's no, Continuity of CPC. Let's ignore what size everything is and how it's wired in. So that's one. Drop this front off down here. And 
that's how we're left. Another bit of one mil, but they've they've connected the uh, CPCs this time. Don't bother with sleeving. I mean, why would you? It's expensive. Uh, so then that powers that one. So and I've and and the light, the centre light as well. So in some ways, I'm glad it's that, and I can just cut that off. Um, and leave that and I, I sh well the homeowners will be happy that it's that it's just that if that makes any sense so they haven't got a massive bill to sort all that out so that can kill all that off so a bit of a relief I'm gonna be honest on that so I this room has obviously had a semi loft conversion done um, obviously it's not to building regs or any form of regulations so it's a non-habitable room so it's classed as a storage room so although that's a bed um but i, I like i say i don't know i don't get it so it's freezing in here as well um so i dare say there's no insulation in it but whatever um so yeah so in a good way so that can just be switched off it's not going to cost him loads of money but my point is that, that they've had another electrician well another few electricians and none of them have picked that up and gone well, hang on what the hell's up here what's this so it's a bit weird so i'm gonna have to sort this uh lighting arrangement thing out so i'll sort that out uh for them but it's just it's just a little bit frustrating so i'm gonna go downstairs we'll i'm now now i can switch off from that a little bit uh i'm going to go and give james a hand i'm going to show you how we are going to fault find for that downstairs uh missing cpc um and then i will i'll get set up and then i'll, I'll catch up with you once we've done that uh well once we've done that once we're ready to show you how to do that should i say yeah that's it yeah right um so what we're going to do now we're going to um do the r2 test on uh that downstairs uh lighting circuit James, you just changed all those down lights, haven't you, mate? So, yep. read on those. So, what we're going to use, so we've got a uh, long lead there. So, but first of all, because obviously we've got a, I'm not sure whether it's 50 meters or 100 meters, I think it's 50. That's going to have a high resistance in it, so we need to null that. So, we're going to get rid of that. So, we need to null, null that, so it's reset. So, it's taking out any of that length of cable. So what we're going to do, we're going to run a load of that out. We'll connect the other end. Oh, breaking my neck. Connect the other end onto the CPC for that circuit. And then we're going to try and figure out which one's which. So that's what we're going to do. Right, so the first things first is you do your visual inspections. Um, so you make sure that all your connections are in and they're all nice and tight. Uh, and well, first things first, obviously prove that it's dead, but... You know what I mean? Um, so you're making sure that all these connections are all nice and tight, because quite often you'll get, and there'll be one that's, you know, that's not connected in. So James has already rewired these lights, and you found, James, didn't you, which I didn't realise, yep. uh, two junction boxes within. Do you want to show them, yep. mate, what you had? I had. So, so he's had found two junction boxes within within that space, wasn't it? Something yeah, like that? Yeah, a few. So these. from there to there, so there was actually two there. So he's rewired that section. Um, so we're just gonna demonstrate how we'll go about it. So if you're gonna put your lead onto there, I'm not reading you got there. So you got one, 1 1.12, which is fine. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna demonstrate. So if you undo that, James, yeah, and just you pull. Yeah, you off that the camera. Yeah. So let's pull one of those out. What we got on here? The mass. Let's just leave those two out. Yep. Let's see what we get. Because James has already fixed these issues. Without me realising, so we've come to the back. You can't find that. You stick that on there, mate. Yeah, one point one three. So we know that one of these here is going to be your first leg to the board. So one of these that are connected now going up. So we've got continuity there. Yeah. Yep. 
continuity there. Yep. And let's go back down oh, that right. way. So, it's so no, it's not going off, mate. Oh. So, what you're doing now? So, if we went down to these ones here, which probably to one of those down lights over that way, they'll have no continuity there. So you'll get an open reading. So it will actually be like that. So. That is how we go about doing the testing on there, but James has fixed it without me knowing. Uh, if you can just put those back in, mate. So we can result. So obviously we then record the highest result uh, going on there, uh, which is for us would be 1.13 uh, on that. So that's what we record on stiff cut. So the next next bit for us is. We, there's a circuit that I'm not sure what it actually does. I've got a feeling, I've been around the house uh, and I've got a feeling it's an old immersion heating. So we're gonna try and find that because I vaguely remember seeing one when we did the bathroom and junction box that went to nothing underneath the floors and it's it'll take me two seconds really to lift that up. And I just want to verify that it is that and then I can disconnect it completely from the board. Uh, and it's not going to be going in and we don't have to worry about it and it's that gone forever um, So we've just found out as well that there is let's go in here, There's a shed supply Going down All the way down there, so that's going in there and that feeds uh, a IP 66 socket and that is fed out the back of That socket there, so what we're going to do I'm going to whip that front off have a look have a look at the connection to the side of there, make sure they're all all good. Um, so yeah, so that's that's where we're at. So James has fixed it without me even knowing. So happy days. So we're up into the loft. I've traced another fault um, downstairs. I don't know why I'm climbing in there. Can't be able to see Jack. Um, there's another cable that's a, a new cable that's a, a newer colours. I should I say, I cannot find the other end of it, but lo and behold, on the other certificate, I've got a reading for it. Uh, can't find the end of it anywhere. I've searched everywhere. I've traced the wire as far as I can. It actually goes behind the kitchen wall, has been boarded out. So it flies off down towards those downstairs toilets. Um, so, because I can't test the end of it, I've searched high and low, cannot find anything. Um, so I can't energize it because I don't know where the other end of it, it might be bare for all I know. So I'm going to take that, uh, put some Wagos on it. So if later on down the line, the customer says, oh, I found this, it doesn't do anything. Then I can come back, test it. If everything's all okay, we can energize it back up, but that's the way I do it. So we're back in the loft now. Um, I've asked James to have a quick look about the installation that it is, yes, we know, it's fed from a socket downstairs, uh, that flying leader you've seen earlier on. So I've disconnected that now. I just wanted to see from James's point of view what he's found on just visual inspection, I suppose. So James, what we found? Uh, first the switch here, I found that the earths have been totally cut off. Okay. So this switch isn't earthed at all. Okay, that's fine. So is so there's no continuity of earth there, is there yeah, on that one? That's probably why we've got in no continuity. So on that one, so you've so size of cable, is that okay for in there? For that uh, lighting circuit? Yeah, that looks fine to me. So what's that one mil is it? Uh one, one and a half mil. I think it's one and a half. Yeah, so that's that's fine for the lighting circuit. Yeah. So what about that socket down there? Uh this socket down here, there's earth there. But there's no sleeving, isn't identified at all. Okay. Totally bare, so that could possibly uh, touch another live part. Okay. And that could trip something at all, and it's just not done. Is there anything else wrong with that that installation there? It's too, uh, the cable's too small for it. Cable's too small, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna, gonna go in, we'll show you that one. Uh, if you jump out of the way, James, yeah. so I can show all the girls and boys at home. So basically what James is seeing there is, see that? These are all completely dead now, just in case someone freaks out. Um, the, the CPC, uh, let's ignore the size of the conductors, uh, but the CC, CPC is not sleeved at all. Massive no-no, uh, but also failing that, it's actually the wrong 
size cable for it that's uh, one mil at best um, so the minimum requirement for that is a 2.5 um, but also that then which James doesn't know about yet but it actually it goes from there and it's thrown over the top uh, and it actually comes down to that socket over there okay. so like I said that's all fed by that socket downstairs so what I'm gonna do now is climb in here so that little beauty that we found up here so we're gonna get rid of that we I've got a an adaptable box there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the hole out put a stuffing gland in so that's going to go in so we're going to get all these cables in find out what the hell all they do uh, so yeah so and then we're going to weigh go them up and then we'll we'll get the label maker out uh, and we'll just obviously label up what this is actually for and it's I believe it's going down to the bedroom down lights uh, which was installed by somebody else so yeah I'll catch up with you once we've just got all that ready so that's where we're at now so put it in the adaptable box put a stuffing gland on uh, used all my way goes and then we are gonna smash that on there and we've just labeled it up for what exactly it does um, I don't want to get too involved in in neating and everything else up, but whatever I touch, make sure it's neat as possible. Um, James is just gonna put the covers back on uh, where it is. We've disconnected the supply up here, but we don't want any confusion, just in case we leave, somebody else comes in and reconnects it, and then all the fronts are all off. So we're gonna do that. Uh, so then after that, we're gonna get on with the, um, the lights underneath the stairs, I think. I think that's the plan. Right, so what we've been doing now, uh, we've installed uh, another little circuit in in here. So we've got a little socket there that then runs around uh, into that conduit down there. And then that goes down to the bottom of the stairs socket. That picks up that old one in there. So James has tested all that one out. We're using the Linean um, fire clips for all the conduit. Uh, which actually it's the first time using these um, just completely rather than any saddles uh, and it actually works really well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you James is going to do some testing so James has put this circuit in so we've rather than put it on because I was on about putting on a fuse spur and all the rest of it but I thought well, it gives him the experience of testing his own little circuits out here um, so the process as it goes we've got so it comes out of here runs down it comes up into here so our our main feed is actually at the switch here okay so then from there it's linked through and then your switch line goes up to this little light up there so what James has done is you've linked the the live and CPC haven't you mate yep so you're gonna connect those onto there yep Just get the earth on get a solid connection on it have you done much testing at college, James? Uh, yeah, we've done periodic inspections and stuff like that. And we've got 0 0.23. Okay, so there. if you turn that light switch off, nothing. it goes down to zero. Yep. Okay, so you're checking there, making sure that the polarity is working fine. Uh, you also make sure that all connections and stuff are all nice and tight in there. So that's basically how you test that. I, I, I know it's a very, very small circuit. Um, so that once you've done that one, I'm just blinding you with the light. Um, once you've done that that test, what's the next test after that, James? Uh, IR, insulation resistance. Hey, okay, mate, do you want to carry that out? Uh, yeah, I'll do that on live to neutral first. So if you want to, you need to do it here, don't you? So if you oh. take the... So you take your, your neutral out of there. Okay, I'll just grab it. Yeah, PZ screwdriver. Oh, he's not, he's not organised. There you go, mate. Screwdriver. So it's very difficult, I know, obviously, at the minute, because it's in a tiny little cupboard you see in the back of James's head. So I just hold it there. Yeah. And then it's that earth, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one that's out. So 
switch it there. So obviously you've got to make sure that you're not touching. This is awkward, isn't it? Yeah, nice and So you've got to make sure they're not touching. Okay, so obviously yeah. they're going to go back into the light fitting shortly. So you could put some ends on those, but like I say, for the sake of this. Got 500 volts. So we'll start on. Is that right, is it? The... Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. So if you put it onto your CPC first, do that on first. Okay, obviously keep clear, make sure you're not touching anything, nobody's touching everything. Press and hold. Oh yeah. 999, okay. So that's 900, greater than 990 uh, mega ohms on there. So that's it. Hit it again. Okay, and next one. Plus 999. Brilliant. Okie dokie. Thanks, James. Yeah, so like I say, James is not, that's the first bit of testing that James has ever done with me personally. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get the rest of that done and then we can energize the rest of the, the house back up and because uh, it's getting pretty dark. So that's the end of the job now. Uh, James has all cleaned it all up, used the big wipes. We've put fire sealant on. So it's all fire sealant in where, where the cables all come through. Uh, so it's all tidied down now, um, new circuits and stuff. So that circuit I was mentioning earlier on that I can't find the end of it, it actually, you can see there's some boxing in up there, uh, it actually comes through and it's there's uh, like a false wall along here. So it just disappears in amongst here. So the other electrician somehow we got a reading off it. Don't know how, I've searched absolutely everywhere, high and low, I've had plinths off, um, I've pulled the down lights back to see if I can see any 2.5 coming that way. It's all new colours. Uh, can't find it for love and money. So if you can't find it, can't energise it. Simple as that. So that is pretty much where we're at now. We've fixed the issues upstairs. We've put those in the junction boxes. I've since discovered that there is... Uh, oh, we've finished, found the, obviously faults, what James did, found the faults with the missing CPC were there, that's all sorted, down lights are in, happy days. We've now found that down there, that is the shed supply, which runs out there. So that needs addressing, issues with that. Uh, it's undersized cable. For the for the run that it is, it's, um, it's 2.5 mil, uh, armor that's run all the way down there. It's actually further than you think that is uh, and I've done the calculations for the load that it's got in that shed and it doesn't work so we'll have to discuss because really it could do because that's just spurred off the off the ring main that is so um, so what we're gonna have to do is make a bit of a plan and uh, put its independent circuit in at a later date for him um, so yeah so that's where we're at. I hope we've enjoyed the videos. Like I say, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the corner. Uh, turn your notifications on. It massively helps the channel and it's completely free. So happy days. Catch you on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day.